Hello and welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So today, because A, it's thinking hot, and B, we've got some projects that need some extra tooling coming up, I thought we would uh, make that extra tooling. So what I'm going to do today is modify my little striking block slash bolster plate so that I can fit the large um, Ugh, heavy. Um, hammer eye um, drift through to the required depth for some of these projects, which will require eyes up to 50 something millimeters long. Um, so, for what we're going to do, we're going to drill two holes. These will be a pilot hole, and then we're going to use a hole saw to cut out the bulk of the material, and the rest will be largely filing to shape just to get it down. To where we need it and then we should be right to go so this will be a simple relatively quick as things go um, project uh, which will facilitate a whole bunch of jobs um, in the coming weeks the one thing it does rob me of is an upsetting block which is what i was using the large face on this for um, so at some point this will have to be replaced um, but i need the tools and um, I have the option of modifying it, so that's what I'm going to do. So, let's get started. Now eventually I'm going to put a um, larger diameter hole through there so that the hole saws will have the hole saw will have an interrupted cut as opposed to a continuous cut. All right, pilots are done. We'll have to drill out the bigger one to we've got an eight millimeter. Get the speed down as low as we can go, which I suspect is going to be a bit too fast for what we're going to do. Right, let's see how we go.
Let's get the other one started so we don't have to break through and into the cast iron of the table. So I flipped it over, and I'm going to cut from the back so I don't destroy the, uh, the table. Whilst I know that I can stall this for small things, I know that for what I'm doing here, that's going to just take my hand off. So you will need some sort of work holding for your drill press at some point. And this is improvised, um, but it works. should have done is teed this up so I could drill three holes and then I'd only have tiny little bits of webbing to drill through. Now it's going to be a little bit messier. trying to do is leave the center plug in but only just so we're trying to leave about a millimeter of metal at the bottom I think that's about as far as we're going to go all right see about freeing that last one
All right, you can't really see what's going on, but let's hope this one doesn't move now. There we go. Now for a little bit of filing and then we should be right to use it. Don't do this. It's just, yeah, it's very rough on the machine and I'm regretting it at the moment. However, it has saved an awful lot of time. All right, so the rest of this is basically just filing out what's left in that slot. So get it done. It's gonna take a little while. How much filing do you guys want to watch? Yeah, I thought so. So I finished one side. I'm just working on the other. I've got a little bit to go. Um, so I'll keep going at this. And pretty soon we should have... So this is the upside anyway. Let's see. Alright. That goes in further than it actually needs to. Already. So we're in good shape. Just need to get those little remainders of webbing out and we're good to go. Now we just need to chamfer these edges so we don't end up damaging things too much. I shall try not to bump the camera. There we go. Ready for the bigger projects next week. At the end of this day, um, we have a mini swage block, for want of a better term, um, which will allow this to get through to about here. And we only need to get to about there. So we've got a bit of wiggle room, which is good. So we can now in the next week or so, ah, start working on some axes, um, a couple of adzes that are in the works. Um, I will need to procure another disc like this to be an upsetting block, but uh, hey, at least we got this and we can work with it now. So, that's where I'm going to leave it. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Um, do feel free to share. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, highly recommend it. As I've said before, we run periodic giveaways. Um, hit the bell if you want to be notified. And as always, get out to your shop, 
have fun, but do stay safe. And I'll catch you for the next one.